Hey guys, it's Olympus Delumer here, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make this Lumigurumi baby sheep, which is designed by the one and the only Zimmy Looms on YouTube and Zimmy underscore Looms on Instagram. If you haven't checked her out, please do give her a follow and subscribe to her YouTube channel. She is the sweetest person I know. And yeah, this is what we're going to be making today, and without further ado, let's get started. So, the materials that we are going to be needing to make this cutie are any type of hook. As usual, I'll be using my rainbow loom hook. Um, some bands. So for today, I will be using two, three colors. Um, the black and the face color plus the... Um, fur color. So, for the face color and the body parts, I'll be using this light green. And then for the fur color here, which is the body or the cap bands, I will be using this teal color. And then for the black bands here, I'll still be using the black for that. And other than that, you're also going to be needing two safety eyes and I will be using two 8mm safety eyes, but if you don't have safety eyes, you can use beads as well, or bands, so yeah, and lastly, you are going to need some stuffing, so these are the materials that we are going to be needing, band count will be in the description box below, without further ado, let's get started with the actual baby sheet. And I forgot you guys, you're also going to need a C-clip or a stitch marker. So the first thing that we are going to be doing are the arms and the legs. And yes, they are the same pattern. And I already made three off camera. I'm going to show you one and you're going to pause the video to make yourself three more. So that's a total of four. Two for the arms and two for the legs. And as you can see, the placements of the bands for the attaching are different. Don't worry, I'll be showing you guys how it's done, so let's get started. So to make the arms and the legs, we are going to start by doing a magic ring of 6 stitches. So to make a magic ring, you are going to grab one band and wrap it to your hook twice. So you place your band, then wrap it, so that's one, and grab this one again and wrap it again. So you should have three loops on your hook. Then after that, you're going to grab another band. And you're going to slide this cap band through that new band. And then reclaim the other end. Now once you have something that looks like this, you're going to put this right band over this one on the left. So securing this left one through there. And just letting go of that right one. Let's do that again till we have six. So that's one stitch. New band. And we are going to pull it through the cap band only. Reclaim the other end. And now you have three loops on your hook. Now we are going to pull this two right ones over this one on the left. Like so. And that's what we're going to be doing until we have six. So that's two. three, four, five, and six. So to count the stitches, they are these ones that's going on a circular motion plus this one on your hook. So let's start with this one. This is one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth one is on your hook. Now, the next um, six rows are going to be a single row round. So what you're going to do is plot six bands first, and that, going, that is going to represent each row. So after so when you start a row, you're going to pick one. 
then you're gonna move your way around and up the second one pick another band and so on so i'll be i'll be doing the first round with you since it is repetitive and you're gonna pause the video and do the rest of the rows and come back to me when you are done so what we're gonna do is we are going to go to this first stitch grab your first band as your um as your mark for your first row Ra grab it to that band only to those two loops reclaim and stitch and that's what we are going to be doing until we reach our c club and that's the second stitch our third stitch fourth fifth fifth and sixth you're gonna remove your stitch marker and put it to the band that's on your hook repeat the same thing five more times and come back to me when you are done so I'm back you guys and this is what my arm or leg looks like and as usual when we end our row we put our C clip onto the last band so what we're gonna do is take off that C clip then unravel these two and unravel this last stitch so it's a normal band because you're gonna pull it through including that stitch and make a stitch a slip knot so this is how you are going to attach your helping band for the arms so one here and you're gonna find the middle slip knot and then the last um, stitch which is here and you are going to slip knot as well so that is how you are going to add the helping bands for the attaching of the arms now i'm going to show you guys how to do the legs so we have one and we are going to add three more so just add them wherever you want to be it's on the circle not by you know like the arm finding the middle and stitching them together no they are doing them on the stitches and making sure that you have your circle you know open not like the arm which is closed and i have here a total of four helping bands for the legs and yeah that is what you're going to be doing for the arms or the legs make yourself three more and come back to me when you're done so now that we are done with our arms and legs, we can proceed with the ears. And again, I have one ear already made, and I'm going to show you guys how to make one ear. I'm going to pause the video, make yourself one more. So let's start. So the first row of the ears is magic ring of seven. So I already show you guys showed you guys how to do a magic ring. So this time I will go a little quicker. To save some time as well. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's count if we have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Grab your band and put it to the band that's on your hook. And the next five rows are going to be single. And again, you're gonna plot your rows so that you don't get missed. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do the first row and you're gonna pause it and make four rows. So again, I will show you guys. I will do the first row with you and you're gonna pause the video, make four more rows. So just like the arms, just a single row around, that's what we're going to be doing. Okay. 
three, four, five, six, and seven. Again, do four more rows and come back to me when you're done. So I'm back, you guys, and I'm done with my additional rows. And just like the arms and the legs, we're gonna slip knot our last um, stitch. Like so. And for this to be attached, we are going to use two helping bands for the attaching. And it's the same way with the arms. And we're gonna find the middle. Like that, and the side. And that's how you do the ears. Make one more and come back to me when you are done. So just a quick recap of what we've made already. We have our arms and legs and our ears. And now let's do our tail here and that's going to be the color for our fur or our cap bands or our body. So I have here my body colored bands. And our first row for the tail is a magic ring of six. So do your cap band first and do another cap band, which is one, two loops only. And your for your magic ring, you have three loops. That's going to be for the fur. And grab one band, pull this fur band through that band, plus this cap band through that band, reclaim and stitch then you're gonna go to your triple loop cap band and then do the same thing do your cap band for the fur and stitch until you have six and don't forget your cap band for your fur that is three and these bands that i'm using are off-brand bands so they they have several like uneven cuts that's okay though because they're nice to work with it's just the bands um the the shape of the bands but yeah So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Don't forget your fur bands plus your stitch and done. I'm sorry about that, but um, after we have magic ring of six, we are going to turn our hook. So this is like how we usually hold our hook. We're gonna turn it to the left and grab so you have your first stitch after the stitch on your hook we're going to go to the second the next stitch do our fur bands and stitch and i'm sorry guys for the background noises and do the same thing to the next stitch fur bands and stitch And after that, we are going to go to the next stitch and just do our slip knot. And that's one of the helping bands that we are going to use for the attaching. And the next one is going to be for this one, the sixth stitch of our magic ring. And we are going to do a slip knot. And that is how you do the tail. So now that we have all our parts done, we can proceed with the body, with the head and the body. The head and the body comes as one, so let's start with the head as well. With the head first, so grab your lighter color, which is this green color. Like so. And our first row is going to be a magic ring of six. So I already showed you guys how to make a magic ring and I'm going to be a lot quicker this time. Make sure you have 
six stitches on your magic ring and also guys there might be unexpected cuts throughout the video it's because um of the noise of the background noises so i apologize for that and this is the face we are not going to add any fur bands i'm gonna tell you guys when to add the fur bands in a bit but for now let's do a magic ring of six and i don't know how many stitches i have so i'm just gonna count one two three four five and six so i have six stitches already and now we are going to increase and if you don't know what an increase is it's putting two stitches in every stitch so we are going to do an increase around so go to your first stitch do one single and go back to that same stitch and do another stitch and that's two and one and that's an increase and that's what we're going to be doing until we reach our C clap and after this row we are going to have 12 stitches so yeah And I'm on to my last stitch and I'm just doing an increase. And once you are finished with all the rows, you're just going to take your C-clip off and put it to the band that is on your hook. So after we increase, our next row is going to be a single and an increase. So every first stitch is going to have a single and the next stitch is an increase. And after this, we are going to have 18, and this is also the last row that we are going to use our um, light color, or our face color, or our um, parts color. I call them parts because all the parts, except for the tail, are like the lighter color, not the fur color. So stage increase, stage increase, until you reach the end. Stitch. and I'm just going to go a little quicker because um, there's so many vehicles coming and when I wasn't filming there weren't any so just continue your single and increase around and if you're hearing any background noises guys I really do apologize for that but I'm just going to continue with my row around, which is the single and the increase. And again, after this row, we are going to have a total of 18 stitches. So, yeah. And this is also our last row, again, of using this. I don't really have um, <laughs> something else to say, that's why I'm just repeating the same thing again and again. Um, after this, we are just going to take our C-clip off and put it to the band that is on our hook. Again, that was our last row We're using our face color. Now we can just get our fur color and that's what we're going to be using until um, we finish. So the fur, um, the next four rows, four rows are going to be a single row around of you know of single stitches plus we are going to add our fur bands so that's that so i'm going to do this first row with you guys and pause the video make three more rows so first stitch grab your marker and cap band then your stitch band and pull it through everything since we are doing a color change Reclaim the other end and stitch. And that's what we're going to do until we reach our C club. Single with the cap band. So cap band first after you go put your hook through the stitch. Then your stitch band and stitch. Again go to your stitch. Do your cap band and stitch. That's what we're going to be doing. And this is actually, I believe, the smallest um, design Zemi has ever created because I usually refer her as the 
big creations queen because she comes up with the big creations and I have several of her designs on my channel. I film tutorials for her like a lot of times and I'm really grateful for that. And yeah, I just like to thank Zami for, you know, like trusting me to make most of her designs. And I have two more, five more, I mean, I mean, six more of her designs that I'm going to film a tutorial for. And I'm excited to do two of those. Because one, it is so requested. And the second one is a very cute design. So I'm really excited for that. I will probably film that after this. So you can keep an eye on that. So, yeah, but right now I'm uh, I'm just doing my route around with my um, cap bands for the fur. And after this, again, you're gonna pause the video, make three more rows of just doing the same thing. And yeah, so we're actually almost done. I hope this video isn't that long. Because, you know, like, the longer the video, the longer it takes for me to upload it. And, yeah, that is a bit annoying. But that's just how things are. But anyways, I'm on to my last two stitches. And, uh, yeah. So I'm on to my last stitch, and don't forget your fur band and your stitch band. So now you can now remove the stitch marker, put it to the band that's on your hook. So this is what we have so far. Do the exact same thing for three more times, and come back to me when you are done. So I'm back, you guys, and I finally finished my additional three rows of single with the fur bands. That's, that's a total of four. And now we are going to add the facial features, which are the eyes, the nose, plus the ears. Um, here they are. We are going to attach these. So we are just going to clip this band onto the next stitch. Like so. And the first thing that we are going to do is to attach the eyes. And remember that our C-clip is on top. And we are going to work this way. So grab your safety eyes. And um, you can put them wherever you want. Just make sure that they look cute. For me, it's in this. So make sure you have your six um, magic ring hair. They are in the middle of the six. So three on top and three on the bottom. And they are on the sides. Like so, then once you're satisfied with how your eyes look, you're you're just going to put the backings on. But if you're using bands or beads, you can do however you want. But I'm just adding my um, backings here, and I think it looks adorable. I think it just looks. Just as this, and I'll also, this actually reminds me of Beast Boy. You know, like from Teen Titans. So that's fun. Okay, now let's add our nose. And uh, if there is any um, background noises, guys, I apologize for that. So I'm just going to use two for now. And we are going, so we are going to add them to this. So you have your three stitches of the measuring on top and three stitches on the bottom. And you have your middle stitch from the three on the bottom. And we are going to put our top of the nose through those. Just like the two holes of that middle one. Like so. And we are going to add this one down, so coming down. So this stitch. And we are actually going to put it in the middle. 
So this might unravel, that's okay. And the, in the middle of this stitch. So we are going to um, go put our hook into the middle of that stitch. I hope I'm showing it to you. Like so. And grab it. And then you can just simply add this back on. Mm -hmm. And you have your nails. And what you're gonna do is just grab all of them, all the loops together, one black band, and um, slip knot them. Like so. And you can fix them. But that's just how I add my nails. But yeah. Now we can add our ears. And have my ears here, and I'm gonna add it in a bit well i don't really know how to explain this but i'm just going to show you guys how i attach it so i'm just going to position them first so for example this one is still on my helping hook so i'm gonna position okay i'm just gonna grab it hoping that my um slip knots for the attaching won't come off and place it wherever I want them to be it's on top of the um, eyes and wherever it lands on when you um, like pinch it that's where you are gonna grab it from below and okay again pinch it and go down going from the inside going out grabbing your first um, stitch of your helping band and then go to next stitch and grab it and when you have two stitches inside oops I lost the first one okay when you have two stitches you're just going to stitch them like so then go to the next stitch and grab your last helping band and grab it down and stitch and we're just going to pick random stitches and slip knot it using our fur color and we can just hide this in the stitches and then we have our ear one ear and i'm so how i did this to stay i slip knot it on to the head again I slip knot it so you're just going to pick random stitches on the head then this stitch on your I mean a stitch on your ear as well then you're gonna connect them or stitch them together or slip knot them together using your fur color and then you're just going to hide this fur color inside the head and you can um, um, hide it onto some stitches and there you go that's how you attach the ears and we're going to do the other ear so it's done the same exact way so grab it and pinch it on top of its eyes and you know tie i mean yeah tie it from the inside so again, pinch and you can turn it around and pinch it and then you're just going to grab some stitches from within and stitch them just like how we did our first ear. Two stitches stitch together and the next stitch for your um, other ear and stitch. Sorry for the background noises. Then you're gonna pick some stitches on your fur or on the head inside. And you're just going to slip knot it using your fur color and hide it onto some stitches. And you have your other ear. And again, so that it stays, we are going to slip knot it.
and hide this in. So that's how you do the ears. So we've just attached our parts for the head and we can just go back to our rows and we are actually going to start decreasing. So just unclip this um, C-clip and we are going to start decreasing plus we are still doing our wrap bands. So this row is going to be a single plus a decrease including our fur bands. And if you don't know what a decrease is, it is combining two stitches together. So that is a single there. And decrease, what I do is I grab the front loop of the first stitch and the back loop of the second stitch. And don't forget your fur bands and you stitch them together. That's what you're going to do until you reach the end. Stitch and decrease. And after this row, we are going to have a total of 12 then we are gonna stuff it and then just close the head up then we are going to do the body and attach after the body which is really easy we are going to do I mean we are going to stitch our um, arms and legs in the tail and do some final final touches and we are done so I'm excited. Can't wait to finish this. And I'm sorry guys if you're hearing any background noises. Um, I really do apologize. I live in a very noisy neighborhood. And there's a lot of people here. And also there's a lot of vehicles too. Moving. I mean like moving yeah of course okay and i'm on to my last set of single decrease and don't forget your um wrap bands single and a decrease Remove your stitch marker and put it to the band that is on your hook. So now that we finished that row, we can stuff it. So I have my stuffing here. And you're not gonna need a lot. We are just going to put stuffing so that it hold it, it holds its shape. So I added a really tiny amount of stuffing and it's good now. So that's enough. So let's continue. So now we can just decrease all the round and close it. And then the body, just a quick spoiler, stuff like that, I don't know. Um, it is, but uh, we are going to stitch from the head and make do our rows for the body. Sorry about that, there was a vehicle, so I had to cut it. So that this video is not going to be like too noisy. I get irritated. And I hear background noises on my videos. Like I really do apologize about that. Yeah. Hopefully in the future that stops. Well this place used to be very quiet when I was young. Like we were the only ones living here. So now there's a lot of people living here because there's a lot of par apartments too. So yeah. Enough of the talking. When you are on your last decrease, you're going to pull it through everything. And just stitch. I mean slip knot. Then go to the opposite side and stitch them together. So that it it's closed. Then you're just going to hide this tail on the head. And we are done with the head. It's so adorable. We can now do our body. So to do the body, we are going to need our head. And so this is our head and we are going to put it upside down. And we are going to work in this, in these areas. 
So we are going to stitch 11. Um, I'm just going to take some stitches and make sure I have 11 at the end. And this row, it's okay not to add on the fur band. So that's one. Two and three, and then four. I don't really know how to explain this, but just make sure that at the end of this, you're gonna have eleven. So that's one, two, three, four. So make sure you have 11 stitches and I hope you were able to let go in a, in a circular motion. I'm pretty sure I showed that to you guys. So I'm just going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the 11th one is on your hook. So just put your C-clip onto that band and we can now do our body. So um, this row is going to be repetitive. We are going to do six rows of single around. So six rows of single around um, for the body with our fur bands. So um, I'm going to do one row with you, and you are going to pause the video, make five more. So we did eleven stitches, right? Um, we are going to have 12 after this. That's because we are going to include this slip stitch from the first stitch that we did. So this is our first stitch and that is a slip stitch and we are going to insert our hook through that first, like so. So now that we have that, um, we can just move our way around. So that's our first stitch, the slip stitch. Don't forget your fur bands and stitch and go to your next stitch fur bands and your normal band for stitching and stitch and that's what we're going to be doing all the way around and after this i am going to um you have to pause the video to make additional five rows I'm going to do that as well, but it'll probably be just like a second for me to come back in this video. So yeah, and I'm really, really gl glad that I'm doing tutorials again. Like I really missed filming tutorials. I haven't filmed tutorials for some reasons, um, personal reasons mainly. But I'm just glad that, you know, I'm back to filming tutorials and can't wait to make more to give you guys a lot of tutorials. Especially, um, school's over for me. Yeah. There's a vehicle coming. So, sorry for the background noises. I'm on to my last stitch and after you reach your last stitch you're just going to take your c-clip off and put it to the band that's on your hook and let's just count the stitches to make sure that we have 12 so this is 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So do the exact same thing for 5 more times and come back to me when you're done. And also guys, excuse me for my nails. Didn't have time to cut them, so just ignore them. But yeah, do 5 more rows and come back to me when you're done. So I'm back you guys and I finished my additional 5 rows which gave me a total of 6 rows and this is what I have so now we can attach our arms and legs and I'm going to attach my two arms first so I'm just going to clip this band I mean this e-clip to the next stitch and attach my arms so how I add the arms I add them outside same as the legs so I'm just gonna grab one of my arm and they are the ones like with the three um, slip stitches, I mean slip knots for attaching lined up together. I'm just going to put it onto the side and pinch it and again wherever um, there's like a free space of stitches is where we are going to attach it. And if you're hearing any background noises i really do apologize but yeah wherever it lands on like these stitches is where you're gonna stitch them um like so and that's one arm and then after that you're going to go to the next stitch for me it's this one because i came from here and grab your fur color and just slip knot it like so and you can hide that slip knot inside the body. And then let do let's do the other arm. Ooh, look at that. The arm and the the arms and the legs. Oops, that's my bed. Stood up. Um, that's funny. Let's add this other arm. And again, pinch it like that, and wherever. Um, like the stitches lands is where you're going to stitch them or if you have your own way of attaching things you can do that as well I mean this is your creation at the end of the day so you can do whatever you want with that then again when you're done stitching them together you're just going to slip knot it using your fur color and slip knot and hide your slip knot inside and we are done with we are done with our arms and this is like you know if you want to stitch um tie them together you can do that just like what i did for this one but you can also tie it on top that's how zemi did her other sheep as well and i'm going to do that but probably after i attach the parts or after i'm done but now we are gonna add our legs and you know just um here's your um helping bands and you're just going to put it like that like down the um, arms and again you're going to pinch it hold it and wherever like the stitches go to is where you're going to attach them sorry for the background noises you guys but yeah wherever your hook lands on is where you're going to add them so yeah but again if you have your own way of attaching things you can do that you're always free to do that and as you can see, my slip knots are unraveling, but that's okay. You can still like do it. Um, and then this is my last stitch, and when I'm done with stitching them, I just go to the next stitch, and then as usual, slip knot using our fur collar. Then after we are done, we're just going to put that in side. And we have attached one leg. Sorry for the background noises, but let's add our last leg so that we can close this guy. 
And same with the other leg is how we're gonna attach it. Just let your hook be the guide. Just like what Looming Cheryl says. Um, yeah, wherever the slip stitches, I mean slip knot lands, is where you're going to add them. I don't really know how I'm going to explain this, but as long as you can see what I'm doing, it's good. That's all that matters. And on to my last one. And after that, we're just going to slip knot it to the next stitch. And after slip knotting, we can hide this inside the body. And I hope yours turned out good. So we attached our arms and legs already. Now let's add our tail real quick. And we have the sleep, sleep knots, slip knots, and we are just going to tie it. Just pick some stitches on the back and tie them together. Just like how Craft Muse tied her stuff. Yeah. Again, if you have your own way of attaching, you can do that as well. This is just how I do mine. As long as you are seeing what I'm doing, it's what matters. So we are almost done. Before we proceed with closing our baby down, we are just going to add our stuffing. And again, we are not gonna need a lot. So I, I have this m much. I'm just going to put it inside. And I think that's good enough. Like, I don't want to overstuff it. And it's it looks stuffed already because of the fur, so you don't really need a lot. After that, you can unclip it. And we are just going to decrease around. Um, this round, I don't add my furs so that it sits. So we are not going to do our furs. We're just going to do a normal decrease around. But again, if you want to add, you can do that, but I'm not going to add my first. Just gonna decrease around. And we are done. There's a vehicle coming. So excuse me for that. Not gonna cut this. On your last decrease, you're just going to slip knot or just slip knot right away. <laughs> just make sure that you close it. So I got mine closed and I'm just going to tuck it in. Like so, and we are done. So we can take this. I'm just gonna take it off it to the sides and you can do it like the hands this way I attach them both together and slip knot the arms to the legs and for this one I'm going to do this so I'm going to get some of my hand bands probably three or even two only then I'm going to add Attach them together first. Wait. Here. Like, attach them together. And then hide this and inside the arm. And we can just slip knot it onto the face. Like 
like so and do the same thing to this side as well. After that, we can just hide this slip knot inside the face or the head. Sorry for the background noises, you guys. And we are done. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's tutorial. If you did, please give this a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Um, comment below what you want me to do or what you feel. And if you make one, don't forget to tag me and Zimmy underscore Liz. We would love to see yours your renditions and use the hashtag Zimmy Looms and Olympus the Loomer. This has been Olympus the Loomer and I will see you guys next time. Bye!